So I pull up to work the other day and my windows are down. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm just sitting there and I was, I was just uh, texting and like just getting ready and everything. Uh, mm-hmm. And nobody was under, uh, we park under a bridge. Um, no, no cars were there or anything. And all of a sudden these two guys just ride up on their bicycles out hey, of nowhere. Hey, so what are you doing? Get out of the car. Were well, you like, I'm going to leave now? Um, more or less, that's pretty much how that went down, yeah. Oh, for real? Um, so the guy, no, kind of. Uh, the guy was just like, hey, I was uh, my friend and I were wondering if you would like to fuck us. What? They just came and, out and asked? Yeah. They didn't buy exactly you dinner how, first? That, that was exactly how it went down, and wow. I instantly rolled up the windows. But my question is, in what world does that work? <laughs> Like, hey, you know what? Threesome actually sounds pretty fucking fantastic right now. Yeah. I'd love to. And you're like, <sighs> like, all right, fine. I mean, hippies are all about free love, right? <laughs> Let's open the curtain, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Creek. Want to turn off the light, Jeremy? I do. And over here today. Yeah, free love's getting all sexy. I'm going to make some popcorn. Here we go. What's on the popcorn uh, this week? Jeremy. I'm going to instant coffee. Oh, I was going to say melted the dried Skittles. flakes. Instant you need coffee. some extra. Yeah, remember the instant coffee flakes? Sure thing. Yep, and All it's right. going to stick, and you're going to eat it. This is PlayStation VR Theater. Theater. <laughs> The oh Midnight Games Cast. We record every Tuesday afternoon at midnight, and then we bring it to YouTube every Wednesday as the weekly wrap up. So long ago. So long ago. <laughs> what did we talk about yesterday? And uh, every today. A lot of shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Verbal. Like, like, every like, Thursday, every today is PlayStation VR. Yeah. And every Friday, every tomorrow, as viewer takeover. When we let you, the loyal game catch, <laughs> let you take over the show. Disclaimer. Oh PlayStation God. VR Theater is part and parcel of the Midnight Games Cast. That's guilty by association of being a conversational podcast. Meaning that this is our chance, three of us and you out there, the loyal game catch, <laughs> to hang out, talk, and have fun. If you do not agree with the above terms as stated, bye. Bye, <laughs> VR without parole LLC. Then please exit the aircraft under the illuminated signs on either side of the theater, or drag that little slider on the bottom of your screen ahead, roughly eight goddamn yeah. minutes. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, the king of all VR kings, the one, the only Jeremy King. Wow, that's nice. It's Thank a lot you. Of, it's a lot of things all together. It is. Yeah. We should buy plots, so when we die, we're going to be all stacked together. And to my left, <laughs> oh you are right. God. Not going to be buried next to me. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Michelle hey, Barrett. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. You like have a family and stuff. <laughs> you're, you're, All right. They're well, right here. You're, like, psh, I know, like, right? Like, what if it was like the apocalypse and I don't know. Well, it, then I the, think we'd be discarded I, wherever we would you're, go. You're like, you're like, sorry, Jay. You need to be over no, one No, I don't know. You so were just like. between us for all eternity. <laughs> Just like yeah. not a chance she's, in she's hell. She's like offended. Yeah, offended yeah. that like, what, oh, why don't you want to get between us? <laughs> Wow. Anywho, wow. PlayStation shit. VR theater. theater. I, just in, in in case you didn't know, it's Bobby T Cat Week here. It's so exciting. <laughs> Every single cat picture you see is a fluffy Bobby T doing God's work. Nice. What is his cat's uh, name? Fluffy. What, it fluffy, is fluffy. Where were you? <clears throat> Why don't you listen? I was. Talk? I thought you made up a name. <laughs> I didn't know. Wow, that's it's, real. It's on top of your run of he show he in big capital letters with you, an exclamation like point. Bananas. Fluffy. On th- and the- oh, the, up <laughs> there. It is with an exclamation point. On top Fluffy. of the page. He goes, where? Oh, up there. <laughs> I think you meant this eight top. God damn minutes. <laughs> is yeah. it at eight? It might be. Yeah. And every week on uh, PSVR Theater, we take a look at Theater? upcoming PlayStation VR games. Yes. Uh, we, we do very little research on these things. Uh, if this is your first time watching these trailers, uh, this might not be the best place for you to check them out. Because what we're going to yeah. do is it, mystery science theater to the crap out of them. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. We are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. shit all over it. Or yeah. say nice we're things. gonna talk over our sometimes little. Sometimes we'll be in the way. Yeah, the little, yeah, the little box of us three might be in totally in the way. In the yeah. Totally of yeah. important information. Yeah, it might be over, over subtitles. Yep. Yeah, that yeah. could happen. That might be a thing. Mm-hmm. Never know. Uh huh. Anything could happen on. Just stay theater. watch and see. But as always, you too. Oh, you were gonna. Damn it. <laughs>
But as always, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby T doing God's work. Be yeah. Tribble. Be Trib. Yeah. Uh, I don't, you know, even though, we, even though we give him a shout out every single week, I don't think we thank him enough. No. Because, because no. legit, if, if Bobby T wasn't sending us trailers to, to watch, then you'd come to the channel every Thursday. And there'd be crickets. It would just be blank. <laughs> yeah. All right, Michelle. No pressure, Bobby T. What's the first trailer that we're going to watch today? Let's watch Airtone. <clears throat> Is that really Air the first one? Tone. Oh, it is really the first one. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know what I'm doing. It's the only one I watched. Mark gets set. Here for to help. And go. go. Nope. And you go. Load. You, hold on a second. Whoa. You, you do understand that I do on your market set go to help with my editing later. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and when you say go, <laughs> but it's more fun for at me. At the this wrong way. time. <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. On your market set go. go. <laughs> You go fuck yourself. I'm gonna, I am gonna be buried next to you. <laughs> just, just the fuck yeah. with you. I already see colors. Oh, this just ruined everything for me. I was enjoying this trailer, and then that girl just showed up out of nowhere. Ooh, well, the right? air rhythm action a for a VR experience. experience. Oh, hey, anime. The air rhythm action. 25 tracks, 75 charts playable. What Wait, the hell's a chart? I imagine songs. It's 25 tracks. Yeah. And 75 songs. Sure. And a floating... Did they borrow her from Hyperdimension Neptunia? Because that's totally the same chick. Air Is it? it sure Is looks it? like her. I don't oh, mean I like... Spe- piece like exactly, but uh, that's she, pretty she, much what they always look like. She kind of looks more like Hatsune Miku. Uh, why does that sound so familiar? Because she's an anime character. Oh. And she sings and dances. Oh, that's her. Yes. Yeah. And we've seen that. I don't think it's her, though. No, I don't think it's like her. her. Does look like her? Don't they? I mean, is it racist to say all anime chicks look the same? Yes. Kind of. No. Is it racist? Or no, just, it's not. No. I don't no. Think it's racist. <laughs> no, I'm not criticizing their artwork. Uh, designed for the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift with Unreal Engine 4, this air rhythm action game offers a whole new musical sensation. In the game, you meet Neon, who was left behind on Mars. You play as her Mars. Android partner and collect rhythm. In quotes, rhythm. Hmm. I don't know why rhythms in quotes, because apparently rhythms an item now that you're collecting. Collect it, bring it back to Earth. Yeah, bring Earth the little rhythm. Initial impressions. I mean, I don't see how it's any different. Than what? Than any other rhythm game that's come out. Like what? The other ones you've mentioned. In like the past. Uh, like what other rhythm games for PlayStation VR? Jeremy. Like happy drummer. Like hey 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 hey. No. I was just hey, trying hey, to help why, brother why, out. Why are you letting run him Dorothy himself? run? Ooh, look at that. That's the one oh, I was hoping see? you'd say. There's one. Look at this. We're put into the task. Um, and he's succeeding, ish. Yeah, it's good. One, one, that was good. Yeah. One, that was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like thanks. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <It was good. laughs> uh, initial impressions. It doesn't look any different or better. I mean, it just kind of looks the same. It's a rhythm game on rails, and it looks like you just, you know, rhythm wise with some floaty, hyper dimension Neptunia chick floating next to you. Okay. Save her from Mars. I don't know. It doesn't. Rhythm games don't grab me. Like that drummer one, that looked different, you know, but this looks like just that same, same you know, moving your hands in that pattern. Kind of like Thumper in a way, maybe? No, nothing Thumper like that. was Not a little Thumper. bit more uh, trippy, no. though. That was yeah. really different. And that got That was tense. actually more my style. Yeah. Yeah. Everything going around, yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like the horror theme of Thumper. That worked mm-hmm. for me quite a bit. Uh, semi-horror. Yeah. Just a gray because he's probably right and we're wrong. That's why I didn't want to answer. Be like, really? That's a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you being like, I mean, it's a horror- stop. <laughs> 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 At no point, I don't think anyone's scared of Thumper, but it's like it's, you're going through hell and there's demons that come up over the track yeah, and stuff. And, and like, it's, yeah. I just found it more on the trippy side, not sure. really yeah, scary. Trippy. But yeah. okay, sure. I guess it wasn't a. I, be- I guess it wasn't a scary trip. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't want one of those. Uh, so it initial was thirty dollars on Steam. This is thirty dollars on Steam. So my initial impression You're paying is paying nope. for every one of those titles, yep. that songs. Wow. Okay. Six chapters, twenty-five songs, uh, all focused on electronic J-pop. Wow. So, so Japanese. So what? There's like, does it? But there's three times as many levels, right? So mm-hmm. and multiple difficulties. Okay. So so you hear the same song three times each through the course of the game it sounds like must be yeah. you know like right. they're just like guitar hero adding more buttons you know right yeah but for thirty dollars on steam I don't yeah know. that's pricey that's it is it, it's 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 j-pop right mm-hmm. yeah. so like are these actual j-pop licensed songs i'm assuming so uh which is probably why it costs so, so much so it's probably yeah yeah right so i'm assuming that's where the, the, the cost comes in mm-hmm. i gotta say that i love the aesthetic the art style the the cute anime stuff 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm totally down. Not not for thirty dollars though. It's pricey. Yeah, Hatsune Miku was overpriced too. So I'm wondering if it is like this whole J-pop thing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe they just know that there's such a limited audience that they have to like really price <laughs> yeah. gouge the people who are actually going to buy it. Right. Yeah, true. <laughs> Get it while they can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it looks I, to me it looks fun. Um, I definitely enjoy the the rhythm games and even Run Dorothy Run grew on me. Yeah. Uh, but. Even that one, that was like thirty bucks when it launched too. I What's probably would get it for yeah, like eleven ninety nine. Wow! All right, I will let you know next year when there's a <laughs> sale on the PlayStation <laughs> Store sale, sale. to get it down that much. Yeah. Right. Yep. Hmm. Sounds good. Keep me posted. Right. Well, do, do, All right. Uh, so it's already out on Steam, correct? Uh, correct. Yes, already out on Steam and then PS4 within this year. A lot of these we haven't had to uh, guess the price lately because they've already been out on Steam. It's kind of nice, to be honest. Yeah. Because yeah. we're always wrong anyway. We are. And we never uh, find out the answer anyway. So it actually came out not this year, but last year on this time, June 8th, Jeez. 2017. It's old title. Old title. Mm-hmm. You'd figure the t- price would have dropped So what by were now. the reviews on it? That's what we're, that's what we're going down to see. Because I'm very curious to know. If people like it. Very positive reviews. There's 119 of them. Uh, Airtone is an excellent rhythm game with predefined song mappings. In addition, the main gameplay being highly polished is features great production quality, solid mm-hmm. tech, including great image quality, and extremely aesthetically pleasing design both during the songs and throughout the menu slash hub. This is a great variety of unique 3D environments for the songs. Looking at the achievements versus what I've completed so far, in a bit more than two hours of the gameplay, it's quite packed with content too, well worth the purchase at its current price. Wow. If I had to criticize anything, the English voice actor's delivery is slightly clumsy at times, but <laughs> still charming. Still charming. Uh, so that was just the first uh, one that popped up, and yeah, very I mean, positive it's reviews. Worth $30, and all right, well, they say, we shall yeah. see. All right. Huh. What's next? Salary Man Escape. Well... Salary Man Escape. <laughs> this is actually coming out this month, isn't it? This is coming out May 23rd. Yes, sir. Right around the corner. On your mark. Get set. And go. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> run, little dudes, run. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dear employee, yeah. before you leave the office. This, this looks like Tumble VR. Ensure you solve every puzzle. You are moving blocks around, so there's that. Yep. Pretty neat. Yeah, right? So the, the guy just obviously goes and waits for you to figure out a puzzle for you to uh, manipulate mm-hmm. and have him get across. Salary man. Salary man. All right. Huh. Coming this month. Coming this month. Well. <clears throat> I actually do think this looks pretty fun. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. yeah. I like the uh, aesthetics on that one as well. Yeah. I, it, it had an interesting look to it. With Remi- the... Reminds me of Intelligent Cube. Remember that? No. Does not remember Intelligent Cube. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a play- PlayStation 1 game. P- PlayStation 1 puzzle game. I think uh-huh. it actually made it to PS2 as well at some point. Okay. Uh, maybe only in Japan. Uh, but Yeah, because Japanese 80s inspired soundtrack. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> Wrong decade, but that works for me. <laughs> um... So, 78, uh, 78 levels of increasing complexity, um, freedom of movement, and over eight hours of gameplay. Wow. Eight hours of puzzles. Yep. So, they pretty much just lemmings, if you will, just going in a direction. And then, <laughs> lemmings. You know? There's just yeah. one dude, though, right? Yeah. No, there was several no, dudes. No, there was, there was a several lot of them. And it looks like maybe mm-hmm. you lose some along the way, perhaps. If they die, Probably. you got at least get one to go. Maybe those are like your li- your lives as well, you know? Yeah, maybe you got at least one's got to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, I was going to look up information. This is all in German. Do they have a translate? Uh, no. No? No, unfortunately not. Can you read it in German? No. No, actually, I can't do that either. No? <laughs> no. Nope. Hand it to me. I'm very good at I, I don't I don't think that's the true either. You know, no, it's I not. I can sing a song in German. Well, what song? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I took a lot of chorus class. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, we're not singing songs oh. right now. Don't. We're not don't singing sing. German yeah. songs? We're not German singing German song. songs right now. No? No. But what are your first impressions of Salary Man Escape? <laughs> no, it's called Nine Nine Schnitzel. <laughs> nine is definitely nine, in nine, it, yes. Nine Ar- Schnitzel. Artung Schnitzel. <laughs> Nuff Balloons. So well, Salary Russian. Man is, Escape. Is it Russian? I don't know. I think so. It was something like that. Yeah. I think it looks decent. This looks fun. Yeah. You know? 
Agreed. Manipulating the pieces. I wonder how many pieces can be manipulated or if it's just preset pieces. Because if it could be all of the pieces, right. that would make it interesting. If there was physics many involved in it too, to where if you move one piece over, it could cause this one to tumble over, which then they can't. I mean, it is a physics puzzle game. Mm. So Beautiful. <laughs> but will it affect pieces that are not in the path? You know, that's what I want to know. If you can move yeah. one to move it here and then can move it back later when they get to that area. It looks interesting. You have so many questions. I do have a lot of questions on this one. Yeah. yeah. I think this one looks good. Uh, I th definitely think eight hours is, a, is an amazing amount of playtime. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm, I'm curious. Whenever there's a puzzle game, I, I always wonder how they rate the length of the game. I know. Right? Because are they, are they saying, well, if you don't get stuck at all, it's eight hours. Yeah. Or if you get stuck on every single puzzle oh, for like 20 minutes, yeah. it's eight hours. It's like, yeah. how, how do you know yeah. how smart I am? Maybe it'd take you 16 Actually, hours. Actually, if they watch these videos, they yeah. know exactly how smart they're Like, I know Brian's not that great at puzzle right. games. They're like, so. Brian, this is going to be a 20-hour Brian Paul game. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a very long Sometimes when I hear <laughs> puzzle games of that long, I'm like, oh, that's yeah. a lot of puzzles. Right. You know, eight yeah. hours is a lot yeah, of puzzles. Yeah. Four plan was like 45 minutes, and I was like, perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? I just, like, let's do this. I can do it over and over Two again. or three hours, you know, I'd be like, oh, but eight hours is like, oh. Yeah, well, I think just like Lemmings before, this isn't something you want to sit and play for like five hours at a time. No. You know, this is like maybe every day. It's like, hey, I'll do a little you know, salary, a man, yeah. you know, right. before I hop back into Resident Evil 7 for the hundredth time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like this one. This this one this one looks awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and for as a puzzle game, yeah, it, it actually seems like something I'm, I'd be really into. Yeah, it seems yeah. fun. All right, let's go to number three. What do you got? <clears throat> Throw anything. Yeah? Yeah. It, sound, it sounds like my kind of game as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on your market, yeah. set, and go. <laughs> I'm not giving you a chance. That, Apparently not. That doesn't look like a PSVR headset. No. No, it Visual doesn't. Visual light. Right. Oh. What? <laughs> what, the, we, what? Throw any... Why, why do these people keep showing up in my games? I don't know. Real people, get out of here. Zombies! Oh, you're standing on a roof throwing things up. Now you're in a museum. Now you're just yeah. breaking shit. Do you I just throwing anything? <laughs> wow. Oh, no. What? Literally. She was in the game again. I'm gonna destroy the world. Oh, so they're, sword. they're throwing soil and green. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Co what? what? Wow, there's oh, a code. Holy, holy, what? Okay, so it looks like a majority of this game is throwing shit off out of a window. Yep. And then like to keep the zombies away. Yeah. They look like there was a fun level just throwing I, shit, unless yeah. that was in the room behind you. <laughs> Bow and arrow, it's like oh, absolutely wow. Michelle's kind of game. <laughs> right? Throw anything. Huh. Wow. That is, uh... That is a game. Yeah. That's a game? Wow. I think that's one of those novelty, like, drunken bar <laughs> fight titles, where you could play it for, like, 20 minutes, and they're like, alright. And then it might be something, like, in another month, go back <clears throat> and play for a few minutes here or there. Yeah. It seems fun. So it's an action defense game, knock down relentless zombies. Uh, there's five levels, no difficulty settings. Five levels. Five main bosses. Bosses too. Bosses, yes. Um, wow. On Oculus, it is sixteen ninety nine. Oh. Sixteen. That seems a little more than I expected it to be. Yeah, but I'm glad it wasn't twenty because I was thinking it was like twenty. Yet here we are. <laughs> <laughs> this only came out in February, so it's a recent release. Okay. Um, just verified. We don't know when it'll be out price on. Price here. Um, all right, let's, let's see. The very first review yes. recommends it. Okay. Arcade action, defense against waves of staving, staving uh, zombies. Not relentless, uh, but staving. Yeah, not starving either. Not staving. starving either. Able to climb high-rise buildings. They want brains. Brains. Throw anything means you get to just knock them off the sides with everything. You know what? This person used so many... Fucking little emojis, emoticons. I am so done with this review. <laughs> Next one. I just wanted to chime in with a brief review about my time with Throw Anything. I already like go. this review better. <laughs> <laughs> As it seems like there are only two other reviews from people. Wow. Um, uh, oh, and those other people only had 0.1 and 0.6 hours of playtime. Hardly enough time to form an opinion about anything. <laughs> I've played the game for almost six hours so far. Wow. Right? That's already more Holy gameplay than I expected shit. this game would have. Right. Played more than the developer. And personally, I've had a really good time with it. Throw Anything, as one of the other reviewers left here says, is a basic idea at its core, but it's basic idea that's executed very... I, I don't like this review anymore. Okay. Extremely visually appealing world with fun and enjoyable gameplay mechanics. The game isn't perfect, and there are things that I believe the developer still needs to work on, such as challenging 
changing the pathing options of the allied NPC. Wait, there's an, what? There's, there's an allied no. N, no, NPC. Maybe she's not in the game. Maybe she's actually in the game, that girl we kept seeing. <laughs> so, so the NPC right? <laughs> always frustratingly walks in front of you. But, uh, but this reviewer is saying, however, the positives of this game outweigh the negatives. There are currently five levels, extremely diverse uh, and different from one another. Mm-hmm. Diverse and different Dude, from one another. I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah. We're, we're done with your review, sir. Yes. Or <laughs> madam. How awesome if you could technically throw <laughs> anything and you can throw your AI partner. That would be incredible. That would be right? <laughs> day one purchase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to say, uh, after hearing six hours of gameplay uh, from that reviewer... Right? And the that they, they didn't say they were done with the game or anything, but they no. were playing for six hours. That's a lot of time. Suddenly, sixteen or seventeen bucks doesn't sound too bad. And I'm, I'm 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 endorsing this one. And you know my philosophy on VR games. Everything's better in VR. Well, there, there's what? that. <laughs> but, but my favorite thing to do in VR is pick things up and throw them. Yeah. Oh, that's right? true. Yes. Yeah. You've nailed my kind of game. Yep. There you go. It might be pretty neat. I, mean, I think it will yeah. be neat. Yeah, it does look pretty neat. Yeah. Absolutely. And then finally, the very last trailer that we're going to watch today, Michelle? The Take. The Take. VR. Is it the Take VR? It is. Oh. Yes. Well, then, <laughs> on your mark, get set, and go. Go. <laughs> you know, which good hit girls. <laughs> you do like every podcast. Right. I was about to say, I wish I could hit pregnant girls, but I did that too. I forgot that you weren't pregnant anymore. The first spy hides the intel. Ooh, sneaky. Oh, yes. In the drawer. How Pretty dare you. Sneaky. In sets traps. Ooh, under the plant. How dare you. Very sneaky. Ooh, under the book. Behind the robot. How dare you. Oh, look at the sky out of my trailer. Oh, shit. Seriously. It's like cooking food. It's like, and here's how to move controllers around. I know. They always got to do mm. that. They do. Look, you move here, and it shows movement <laughs> in there. Right. Then you switch players. Oh, you got to take the headset off. Right. You got to move the badass. Right. Oh, badass? I was hoping you would want to snuggle. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't have the headset on and I'm not desperate. see where the hiding <laughs> shit is. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, speaking of desperate. Oh, look at all the emojis. That oh, one is sending. Whoa. Jeez. Yeah. That was a lot. Wow, Brian. Oh, turtle. Poof, bam. bam. No. Play again. Look at him. He's fucking done. Oh, oh he's so pissed so off. So mad. He, but he didn't Over look eight like a different badass traps. anymore. No, why are the different people? Why is it everybody they passed the headset to was wearing a wool cap? There's only two people in this video. <laughs> oh, he was more. like dancing. He had a, a gray wool cap. Look at him spinning around. There's still only two people in this video. Oh, he just like shoved really? that up. Well, I mean, there's all and those people. Well, what about those guys? And him. Oh, and he her. Yeah. Or was that a dude? You were saying? Oh, look, look at him looking around. He's Bob. <laughs> Bob had... Just, Don't sorry. forget about Cindy. Just saw, but I saw Bob in there. Okay, there's, there's a whole lot of people in this trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The take. The take. So. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I like the concept, mm -hmm. hiding and then somebody finding with traps. It seems neat. It's Although it's cumbersome. It seems cumbersome. a little bit... Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to... Like, here, let me hide this shit. Don't look at the social screen, and I can't tell if well, you're going to look at it. Why would you think the, the image would be on the social screen? Uh, I'm, I'm sure the social screen just says like some something like you know that's true i'm assuming it could say he's hiding shit you know yeah, don't 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 you know, look under here go, yeah. but i want to look under here <laughs> go have a beer right and while then while your friend plays this game yeah right i'm sure it's, i'm sure the social screen is not going to reveal anything like Let's that hope not. um <clears throat> but uh, this re this reminds me uh of well two things obviously the the arts the art style mm -hmm. is very much like golden age comic books right so no. Competing spies in a golden age comic book. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Racing against the clock to hide and seek <laughs> classified intel while uh, setting or avoiding traps. Pass the headset back and forth. Three unique rooms, eight different traps, nine pieces Three. of nostalgic intel, over 30 hidden uh, compartments to discover. Wow, that was bad handwriting. Jesus. You can write on walls, use the motion controllers. It is a Golden Age comic book. Write on walls? Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. What do you write on walls? Don't open this? Like that kind of stuff? Write on walls. I, yeah. huh. I hid the intel here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For Go a good over time. There. <laughs> huh. I wasn't going to say who to call. So what do you what do you think? <laughs> yeah. It looks interesting. I think it could be fun. I don't like the three rooms, though. That seems pretty, like, small. For an amount of space, I guess maybe that's good though. You wouldn't want mm. too much, so yeah. No, I think initially it looks pretty like it could be a fun little game. Um, 
it's definitely a uh, party game. Yeah. Um, maybe it would be better if it was like a online thing versus just pass the headset just back and forth. It. But do the traps have um, an impact against you? Like, do you have X amount of lives to try to find this or just get hit with traps? Those are the questions. Until you find it. Yeah. I wonder. Like, if there was an impact to finding <laughs> the traps. You, you finding any uh, trap info in there, Brian? Do you remember the game on PlayStation 2 called Trapped? Yeah, I have yeah. it. Yeah. It's actually part of the Deception series. I never played Deception series. Well, you kind of have. If you yeah. played Trapped. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, technically. Yeah. There, yeah. there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, there are a couple reviews here. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one seems to be the uh, the most intricate. <laughs> Very fun with family and friends. Probably the favorite game with everyone here. I wonder who's there. His family. Everyone everyone here loves yeah, it. We all love it. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. We don't watch your YouTube channel. We don't, <laughs> we don't know who's over there. Um, pros. Quick rounds. Two. Easy to learn how to play. Three. Fun for everyone. Mm-hmm. Dad, he's like, I got Yeah. And it's not pros and cons. He has pros in meh. <laughs> so the meh is to teleport, you have to hold the trackpad and then squeeze the trigger. I prefer a quick press on the trackpad. Yeah, let's hope they fix that. Also, that's with the teleportation. Yeah. Stop it. We've been screwed by abduction. <laughs> We're still pissed off. Hmm. Uh, yeah, everyone else seems to uh, say this is great. Uh, and actually, this guy I played it at PAX East. Did we oh, miss yeah, this at I, PAX East? We did. Yeah, I read that comment. Oh, I'm so too. upset. We were at PAX the... East, and I didn't even see yeah. it. Yeah. I had a blast both playing and watching others play. For sure, a great party experience and great solution to local multiplayer VR. Mm-hmm. Also... This is something I wanted to say before I was so rudely interrupted after my golden age of comic books <laughs> statement was that uh, this person says, also definitely get it if you're a Spy vs. Spy fan. Uh, if anybody remembers Spy vs. Spy. That was a mad it? comics, right? Wasn't that mad? It was indeed. Yeah. Uh, but I played the video games. Yeah, I remember those. Uh, and I played them on the Commodore 64. Mm-hmm. Spy vs. Spy 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And, uh, and, and also there's one on the Sega Master System. I, I don't know if it came to anything else. Maybe the first one was on the original NES? It was on something else. I've seen it on something else besides yeah. those two pla- those two systems. I think at the NES. Uh, and, so, and that's exactly what this game, what those games were. Was, uh, you, you play as two spies, and, uh, and you're trying to go around these different rooms and, and find intel, but you can plant bombs and traps mm-hmm. for the mm-hmm. other player. It's, it was split screen, so you know you cheat and look at the other person. But... Uh, but you know, it's the same. It's still the same idea. Yeah. Okay. I love those games. I can't wait to play this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and for so is that your bucks, pick of the week? For, it's ten bucks, right? I actually did not get a price on this. It's this ten bucks. Wow, that yeah. is pretty $10. cheap. Ten dollars. I'm gonna double check. Yeah. I don't really know. That would be fun though, Michelle, if you could do that, like you were saying, like I could play against Brian at my house, him here. It's well, ten yeah. bucks. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Sweet. But yeah, right? Yeah, like I hide shit, then he finds it, and vice versa, without mm-hmm. being in the same room. If it exactly. gave that option too, that would be nice. Yeah, Instead I don't of, think that's happening. Yeah, yeah. That it stinks. doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, who knows? Maybe the take two. Maybe the take two. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so ten bucks confirmed. What else? Uh, which what's our, so what are picks of the week? Oh, I don't know. Probably either salary, salary man, man or. Oh, the take. Throw you guys going to do this whole thing in unison, or what, what's going on here? I was going to say the salary man or throw anything. Uh, throw anything looks fun, but I like the concept of the take. That seems pretty fun. Setting the traps, finding them, you know, hopefully not hitting a trap. And then salary man definitely looks fun. Hopefully not hitting a trap. Yeah. You don't want to hit one. Have you done Grinder recently? Grinder? Oh, I've asked that I love that how before. he pretends that he doesn't know what Grinder is. I've asked that before. Episode. No, I didn't. And then I realized, wait, you've answered that. That's like... Tim, Tumblr? Tumble? What's Tinder? Tinder. <laughs> right? He actually has all these apps on his phone and he goes on them every day. And my pick of the week is Airtone because cute anime girls right up my alley. All Fantastic. right, you guys. Fantastic. Make sure you come back tomorrow for the other best 20 minutes of your week viewer takeover when we let you, the loyal game cat, wow. shine. Did you see Bobby T's cat? I did. Did you see Bobby T's pussy? <laughs> I did see it. It's on Grinder. As Comment always, below I'm Brian. That's Jeremy. The that's Michelle. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Why is he everybody's favorite? Um, because he's like the first of the Pokemon walking is that around why? with uh, Ash. 
I don't know. And then Togepi is a big favorite because Misty. I think it's just connected to the I've characters. I've heard of that one. Misty? No, Togepi? Yeah, she, that's the one in the little egg. He's he's so cute. With the legs oh coming out of the bottom? And yeah, with the little legs oh. coming out of the bottom. He's so freaking cute. Are any Pokemon their temper based off of their trainer? So can yes. Okay, so one of them can be a dickhead if a dickhead owns them. I mean, Meowth is a villain because Team Rocket has them. But if he wasn't with that team, if he was with Team Good Guy, then you would he be... You don't watch much Pokemon, do I you? don't watch any of it. <laughs> would he be a good guy? Well, no, it doesn't work like that way. Would he no. want to leave and go... Do Pokemon need to be owned by somebody? What do they do on their own when they're not, like... They're just hanging on their natural habitat. They don't do shit. So they're free. <laughs> and then we find them, collect them, throw them in a very as, small container. As free as throw the them. Possum, po- the possum. The, the possums you find on the side of the road. They're pretty free until they get squashed. <laughs> oh my god. 